We land in San Francisco, which is a vibrant, wonderful community, and it's got high housing costs and a pretty tight job market. And you think, wow, it's gonna be great. The reality is, if you're 18 or 16 or 20, and you don't have any money and you don't have a job, you're gonna be staying in the park or someplace with somebody who's making you do stuff you probably don't wanna do. I can go a day without eating and just be like, all right, well, this kind of sucks, whatever, I'll go find food in the morning. But like, those four days, dude, that sucks so bad. Just, it hurts. oh, it's, oh. It hurts. Last time I took a shower? A couple weeks ago. Yeah, it's been a couple months. It's been a couple weeks. <laughs> I don't like being dirty. I, just, I hate it. It's so disgusting feeling. Like, I like sleeping in beds. I don't want to be homeless anymore. I have everything I own in this one bag and I'm walking in the mission at night. I had my first experience with being jacked, which was, it's, it's good to actually kind of get that out of the way your first time so that you're not naive about it later on. They told me I had relatives that lived out here. And halfway here in Reno, Nevada, um, my mom calls me and she tells me, oh, you don't have relatives out there. So I end up in San Francisco at night scared. My parents want me to marry my second cousin. To get away from the war that, that I was going through and back home in my country. I went to a Catholic boarding school and I was kicked out. Being young without your parents, it sucks. Not all of us are, you know, junkies. All I care about is food. I love food. We're just kids who had an unfortunate set of circumstances and ended up on the streets or ended up needing help. They are no different than any kind of kaleidoscope of young people that you might see. We estimate that there are 5,700 youth at risk for or homeless every year in San Francisco. We sleep at any one night about 275 young people and we help over a thousand young people a year complete their education, go to school, get a job. When I was like 15, me and my mom don't get along and a larkin kind of caught me. Some young people come to our services and they don't necessarily identify as homeless and they come into our employment and education programming looking to get a job or to, to work on their resume. And then soon we learn the, the fuller story. Some of us, you know, have problems getting the help that we need because we don't know how to seek it. How you guys doing? Have you guys um, heard of Larkin Street before? We're from Larkin Street Youth Services. Oh, Our yeah. goal is to help you do what it is that you want to do. I went on the Larkin Street website and I saw Castro Youth Housing. When I first came in to talk to Leah, I was just a total wreck and I started coming in almost every day to see her because she just made me feel that much better. The wonderful thing about Larkin Street is that we have this full continuum of services. So whatever that young person is seeking out is something that we can generally provide. If you just put your mind to something, just be patient, you can really achieve something good in life. I've been working on my resume, doing a lot of job searching here on the computers because uh, they have an open lab. I actually wanted to be a farmer before I left uh, Vacaville. Um, and right now I'm working at Hayes Valley Farm, which is a permaculture farm as an intern. Independence gives me courage. If I say, I want to own a, rec a record label, then they say, well, this is the college you should probably look into. These are the classes we can help you take. Anything that you feel that you have like a, a strong passion for, they'll help you connect it. And that's where I want to be in five years. I love kids and I also love like working with the community. I want to do something that can affect other people. Man, it's a good thing just seeing other people's life change and just making them become a better life for themselves. I do gardens in my friend's backyard. I'm going to actually start, hopefully, a business doing that. The young people that come through our doors have gone through many life experiences. And in many ways, that actually makes them incredibly resilient people. I knew I was in a safe place. Like, I knew I was gonna be secure, and I knew I was gonna be fine. If you participate with Larkin Street and you help young people, you're gonna feel good about who you are, and you're gonna know that you're doing something to make a difference and to positively contribute to your community.
Like that's a great gift, I think.